Hello everyone. Question number 29 and question number 30 are same. That is why I am solving them together. And it is very clear that the speed in any of the question can be given in two formats. One is where it is directly given as 20 km per hour or 25 km per hour or 30 km per hour. Another format is when the speed is given in the format of distance and time. Now, it is very very important to understand that in this question number 29 and 30, this is given in the format of distance and time. When I am saying that the speed is 20 km per hour, this is equivalent to if I say that the boat goes 40 km in 2 hours. Because if a body is going 40 km in 2 hours, that means in 1 hour it will go 20 km and that is basically the meaning of the speed. The speed is actually that in 1 hour how much it will travel. Here in these two questions this is given in the format of speed, distance and time. So when I am talking about speed down steam, I am writing it as SD. So it is going 40 km in 2 hours, that means 40 km the distance travel upon 2 hours the time taken and the speed of downstream is 20 km per hour. Now when it returns in 4 hours that means speed upstream. Downstream is with the stream and upstream is against the stream and here the distance again is 40 km the same upon the time is 4 hours and it comes out to be 10 km per hour. Now it is clear that the speed downstream is 20 km per hour and speed upstream is 10 km per hour. Now we have to understand two more terms about it. One is the speed of boat and the another is the speed of stream. This can be speed of stream or it can be speed of current or it can be speed of river or it can be speed of water. Like here it is given speed of stream but in this question it is written as speed of current can be speed of river as well. Now, when I talk about speed downstream, it is definitely speed of boat plus speed of stream and while speed of upstream is equal to speed of boat minus speed of stream. So, if we look at these two equations, we know the speed of downstream is 20 and the speed of upstream is 10. So, we can directly put speed of boat plus speed of stream is 20 km per hour speed of boat minus speed of stream which we actually say speed upstream is 10 km per hour. So these are two linear equations which we have formed. If we add them, this can be cancelled out. It is twice of speed of boat is equals to 30 and the speed of boat becomes 15 km per hour. Now this is the speed of boat. If I put it in the first equation, then 15 plus speed of stream is 20. So speed of stream becomes 20 minus 15 and that is 5 km per hour. So this way we can solve the question number 29. As question number 29 and 30 are same, again here we have to go for the same procedure. Speed of downstream here we can calculate like 44 upon 4 and that is 11 km per hour. While speed of upstream is 44 upon. Now the important thing is here the time is taken as 4 hours 48 minutes longer to cover the same distance again. Longer means it is the excess time than 4 hours. That is the total time it takes is 8 hours and 48 minutes. If I talk about 48 minutes and I want to convert it into hours it is 8 4 by 5 hours. Now, 48 minutes can be written as 48 upon 60. If we cancel that, it is 4 upon 5 hours. If we solve it, it is 44 upon 5 hours. So, when we take the time here, it is 44 upon 5. If we calculate it, it is 5 km per hour. Now, as we have solved the speed of downstream and speed of upstream, we already know the two terms speed of boat and speed of stream or current. So I can write speed of boat plus speed of stream is equal to speed of downstream that is 11 
while speed of boat minus the speed of steam is equal to 5 this is already given to us so if we add them this can be cancelled out twice of speed of boat becomes 16 and the speed of boat comes out to be 8 km per hour if I put this equation the value of SV in the first equation then A plus the speed of current or speed of steam is equal to 11 so the speed of steam becomes 11 minus 8 that is 3 km per hour so this way we can solve the questions which are basically the question of linear equation in two variables and this is in the context of boats and steam and if in case you have any problem you can go to the chapter which is based on boats and stream and you can see how we solve the question based on this. Thank you.